Hey hey, this is Katie and today I'm heading to Metro in Tianjin, China. I thought I'd show you a kind of look inside what a supermarket here in China is like and show you a bit of our shopping haul as well. So I will see you soon. So if you like your teas, Metro is the place to come. You can get like your standard Earl Grey, English breakfast tea. Um, it is quite a bit more expensive, so like English breakfast tea is 85, just like a little pack of this. I don't know how many is in this though, to be fair. Mm, I don't really drink teas, but 25 bags at 39 RMB. show you our shopping what I will say is that with Metro there's often a, like a, a deal if you have a Metro card which is really easy you can just sign up for them when you go in and the woman can do it on the, your phone for you and um, if you have the Metro card then you can get these deals but if you buy three of something you get it cheaper so I've only got one of each of the things out but generally I will let you know but generally there's probably three of each of them so I will kind of talk you through what they are so this is our Metro shopping we tend to go to Metro once a month like it's not really a shop that we do every week but it is kind of like a large supermarket that you can get lots of different Chinese and Western things from um, so yes yeah, so this is our kind of shopping from Metro so I'll jump right in so we get pork this is a massive bit of pork here um, we really enjoy having yellow curry Thai yellow curry um, and pork is really nice of it so we'll have this and we can always reuse the we can always reheat the, the curry as well, so it does kind of serve for more than one dish, which is really nice. Um, so we always get pork from here because I do find pork from places like Walmart isn't always as nice. Um, so we always get some pork from Metro when we go shopping. I picked up one of these because um, I just needed one. My old one was getting a bit grotty, so I picked next one of these up. Uh, cheese. So cheese in China can be quite expensive. We used to get like a block of 200 grams for around about 35 RMB. This is nine, 102 actually, it's 102 RMB. And it's like 2.5 kilograms of cheddar cheese. We tend to like put some in the freezer and it lasts us the month, so that's always handy. Uh, we bought some pizza dough, like pizza bases. Um, we just kind of get a massive packet now because we enjoy them so often. Um, and just kind of put them into sections, put them in the freezer. They taste pretty good and you can make your own it works out quite a bit better than kind of um, we don't particularly like ordering the pizza here because it's not always that nice unless you get it from like an Italian restaurant but like uh, takeaway pizzas aren't always that good and we like making our own so that's why we do that we picked up some fruit so we have some cantaloupe you can't get cantaloupe or kiwis in the fruit and veg market near our apartment so we picked up some of this so we thought we'd have that this week um, 
we have got, well I have never had these before but they look exciting, basil sausages um, and I'm gonna like defrost them and cut them up and put them into like pastas and stuff and see what they taste like uh, but yeah they're frozen so should be nice and then here's kind of like drink selection so oh, actually beans so this is another example so I bought three of these um, these are just bean like normal beans that I quite like they actually do have Heinz beans but I didn't couldn't well there was a time when there was no be Heinz beans left so I tried these and actually these are pretty good so we have these instead um, Callum loves olives so he puts olives on his pizza on his pasta on his salad anything that he can put olives in he'll put olives in so we have always get some of them uh, barbecue sauce. So they actually do have uh, HP barbecue sauce, but uh, this is I'm not sure. Uh, De 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 I'm not sure what brand this is, but we thought we'd try it because it looked quite nice, and it was on sale, like it was on offer. So we thought we'd try that. Uh, we bought some American Caesar salad dressing because we love um, Caesar dressing, and it's quite difficult to get some good tasting ones here. So we've bought some of this. We bought some from BLT the other day and it was okay but it was quite like, it tasted more like blue cheese so we're hoping this is a little bit nicer and this is on a three for, it was like one of those offers where you buy three so we thought we'd get three of them. We also picked up some lemon juice, we quite like cooking breast of chicken for our salad with a bit of lemon on it in the oven so it kind of gives that some extra flavour so we always get some of that. So this is more of a treat for me. So I really like the Serrano Amaretto, but they don't have that brand here in Metro and I haven't really been able to find it in any of the other shops. So I thought I'd try this. It was pretty it was pretty cheap to be fair. I think it was like 70 RMB. So I thought I'd try it and see if it's any good. Um, but yeah, so that looks good. So one thing I really miss about living in the UK is having cider. So I did find some Strongbow. They have an apple like a red berries one here and a gold apple one here so these are a little bit more expensive they're like 29 RMB something like that but I thought I'd give them a try put them in the fridge and have them when we're watching football so I thought I'd try them and this is interesting this is one of Callum's because he loves 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 passion fruit um, but we can't always find some nice ones and this is a with a new thing there so we thought we'd try some of that Vitamin water, we get like a tropical flavour one, an orange one and a lemon one and again this is like a three, you can buy three of them on an offer so we have three of each of them and the, the rest of them are in the fridge getting cold. Uh, this is Gatorade, so this place have Gatorade and we kind of like it every so often um, if we you know fancy a bit so I always, we always get three and just have them in the fridge for you know every so often when we feel like we need it or want it. So I also kind of got some cranberry juice. One thing I will say oh, is that this stuff is pretty expensive here. I think it was like 40 something RMB. I thought I'd figure it out but it is quite expensive but I really like it with amaretto so I thought I'd get some for as it's golden week and it's a week off it would be a nice little treat. I also have here a like box of Corona. This is for Callum because he loves Corona and it's actually a special offer that was like nine bottles for 72 RMB. So it's a pretty good deal. So I thought that'd be a nice little treat as well. Now these are new. We haven't seen these before. These are, do, do, do. these are mini pita breads. Now they're frozen, so I need to put them in the freezer after this video, but they look pretty interesting. They look quite exciting. We haven't seen pita breads before. So we thought it'd be quite nice for like lunches with a bit of chicken and lettuce and some of our Caesar dressing. Um, yes, yeah, so we thought we'd try that this week because we love pita bread in the UK and we, we have struggled. We can't really ever find it here, so that should be nice. Garlic bread, so this is like, <laughs> they have like four slices of garlic bread in here, but we always, because we eat pasta so much, um, we always like having a little slice of garlic bread on the side of it, so that's quite nice. And it's, I think it's really cheap. It's like seven RMB, something like that. So it's not too expensive and we just kind of get it. We've got like, six of them I think um, because it was like a six if you the, the deal is if you buy three of something you get five percent off but sometimes for some of the items if you buy six of them you get 15 percent off and this is one of those items so we bought six of these so they're just in the freezer and we'll have them over the month or so 
flour tortillas. Now, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> flour tortillas is the main reason we go to Metro. We love fajitas, and we've literally bought like nine of these um, flour tortillas. They are frozen, so you have to defrost them before you cook them and have them with your fajitas. But they are the only wraps that we've found here that actually taste quite nice. They have mission wraps, but they just taste really hard. So these are a lifesaver. We really enjoy these. So we have plenty of those in the freezer. And then last but not least, we thought we'd try these. Now we haven't had these before. They're like pre-baked baguettes, so you can take them out of the freezer and put them in the oven for like 10 minutes. And then they became, they, they, they take, they're meant to taste like fresh baguettes. So it's a pack of six. So we thought it'd be quite nice because then for this week it's golden week and obviously often I go to work but I quite like taking my own food in. So we thought it'd be quite handy because we can take them out and then have half each for our lunches every so often. So that should be quite nice. We're gonna, I'm looking forward to trying them because I love baguettes and the baguettes that we have in China just aren't as great as they are in the UK. So that should be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying them. And that is our shopping haul. So it really isn't too much exciting stuff there. But like I said, like our, our staple items, so things like chicken and bacon and um, vegetables, like so we have a fruit and veg market um, at some point in our weekly vlog. Head over to our weekly vlogs because I do talk about our fruit and veg market and I go quite a lot on the weekend, so you can see it over in, in, the, in the weekly vlogs. But we normally don't tend to pick up our fruit and veg from there, or sometimes we'll get it from Walmart or Carry4. Things like chicken we always order from Carry4 or Walmart as well um, because you can get them delivered to the door and it means that they're not sitting in the freezer for too long. They're not kind of, you know, we can just kind of get them fresh. We get them, we, all, we get an order and for the, like, of food for the next two or three days because um, we love, like we live off peppers and onion. Like, I feel like that is our staple, <laughs> like our staple uh, grocery is something with peppers and onion in and, and chicken. That's kind of pretty much our favourite things and we have it in everything, curries, fajitas, you name it, we have it. Um, so those types of things we just get delivered to the door but these are kind of like sauces or like the frozen bakery section is my favourite, like that's where we get a lot of the stuff that we enjoy eating from as well. Um, and like I said, they do have frozen, they do have um, lots of international Western foods. They do have like things like Ben and Jerry's um, but I'm trying to be sensible and good and healthy. <laughs> I, I say as I've just shown you all this food I'm trying I'm trying my best to it's a whole separate story this one but I'm trying my best not to have as much sugar so Ben and Jerry's was not on the list today but you can get things like Ben and Jerry's you can get things like cereal bar bars I often get cereal bars from there for breakfast um, but you know Western products if you can't find it here in China it's probably in Metro they have they do have like a large selection of stuff there so we do find it helpful to go shopping there Anyway, I hope you like this little kind of shopping haul video. If you do, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you have any questions about life in China or any kind of requests for more shopping haul type stuff, let me know in the comments below because I'm not entirely sure how interesting this is or if you actually enjoy it. I know when we were moving to China, we really wanted to see the types of stuff that you can get here, but also I'm always just nosy and like to see what people buy for their food. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this, just let me know and drop a comment below but until next time I shall see you soon bye